2018 Honda Vessel Hybrid. In this episode, we're going to service the high voltage battery, but is it really necessary to service the high voltage battery, the battery cooling fan in Honda Vessel? The only way to find out is let's open the battery and I'll show you. So one of the main characteristics that you need to know about Honda Vessel is that the battery cooling system is located right here, which is one of the greatest location. Why? Because it's not on the floor, so very difficult to dust and debris to come in. However, over time, it's kind of normal Check for yourself, dust and debris will come in. What I'm trying to say is that the Honda Vessel cooling system is one of the best, but does it need service? Let's check it out. Well, as you guys might know, probably the high voltage battery is located here in the back. Under the trunk of the vehicle, I need to open up this. But once I take out both seats, holy moly, look how much space this vehicle has. This is incredible. All right, once I do remove the first one, the second one, uh, these holders are a nightmare to take them out. I can remove now the main cover. I also have to remove this under pan. Let me put it over here. Okay, so here what we have. That is the high voltage battery, but it's the hybrid system as a complete unit. But in order to have access to it, even to the ventilation system, the cooling system, I have to remove this and I have to remove this side panel. So let me take it out. There you go. This is the cooling system of the high voltage batteries. But to make it simple, this is the battery air intake. Comes through all this duct here to the top, directly to the cells. And finally, the last component who takes out the air is the high voltage battery cooling fan, which is located inside the battery and takes everything right here. Yep. So yeah, I gotta open the battery. But before opening the battery, we have to disable the high voltage system. Let me show you. So rule number one when working on Honda hybrid vehicles is that the first thing you gotta do is you gotta unplug the 12 volt battery. So let me just disconnect the 12 volt battery. Much careful. That's it. Second step, I have to take out these two 10 millimeter bolts to access the service plug grip. There it is. Let me take it out. So this is the service plug grip of the Honda. Now with this, I completely disable and open the circuit of the high voltage battery. So it's now supposed to be safe to work. And now I can open the battery. So this is the complete hybrid system in the Honda Vessel. But I already know that this needs service, especially because all this dust and debris that comes over here, it comes from the battery outlet. But what battery outlet? Well, look, this is the battery cooling fan. But in order to service this cooling fan, we got to take out the complete hybrid battery. Now, you don't need to do this so often. Given the situation that the cooling fan is actually the last component who takes the air out from the battery, all the dust and debris comes from inside this air duct comes first to the cells down the cells and then finally reaches the hybrid system which is the inverter assembly and the dc to dc converter and finally the last component is the fan that sucks from the battery so usually it's not about the battery the cooling fan that gets dirty no it's cleaning the battery itself because the air comes in directly with absolutely no filtering so let me take it out and here you can see the battery inlet and that those are directly the cells but is this dirty anyway there you go that's my point one of the biggest stupidities that honda did with their hybrid system connection is that they don't identify where's the positive or negative cable coming from the 12 volt battery hence a huge accident can happen if you don't know the technical information of this vehicle let me show you now, before I even put in my hands in this, I have to put my gloves and do some residual voltage measurement. But let's identify quickly. This is the inverter assembly, this unit. And you see this three cable, that's the AC cable that goes directly to the electric motor. But this cable over here, this is chassis ground. And this one, which you won't believe it, this is the 12 volt battery outlet, but they put it in black. So what's gonna happen sometimes if you disconnect this stupid cable and you don't realize that this is actually live positive 12 directly from the 12 volt directly from the battery, you can touch chassis ground and yes, pudding is gonna happen. So you gotta be very careful with this. Considering the hybrid system, considering that this is a lithium ion battery, of course, this is not a job for any normal person. You should have at least the basic hybrid electric vehicle training program in order to put your hands in this. Otherwise, it's not safe if you don't know what you're doing. So, let's continue. Now that everything is fully disconnected, it's pretty safe to take one, two, three, and four and take out the whole battery as a unit. And that's it. Oh, now that the hybrid system is out, I can do my complete cleaning of the battery compartment. 
everything! Woo! We can say now that the hybrid system compartment, it's clean. Now, it's time for the battery, let's go! Put in order for us to take out the high voltage battery cooling fan, we have to take out the complete unit from this plastic protector pan. So this is the pan, but is it dirty? There it is. So we definitely had to clean this as well. That's how she looks clean, as good as new. But then look, we have now the complete hybrid system. But is the cooling fan dirty enough like to take these out? Let's find out. So then to take out the fan, just have to disconnect it and take out one, two, and three. That's the problem because the battery is inside the pan. I have no access to these two 10 millimeter bolts. That's one of the problems why you need to take out the complete battery to take out the fan. So let's take it out. Are you even dirty? The answer is yes. There you go. So eventually, sometime in your life, probably every couple of years, as long as you keep it clean, you eventually will have to take this out and clean it over. So let's clean it. So why is it so important to clean the battery cooling fan in Honda hybrid system? Let me show you quickly. Mainly it's because the air comes into these cells right here, which we're gonna clean it as well. It comes down, it passes through this under the battery, through this duct, reaches now look at those two components over there that's the dc to dc converter as well as the inverter those fins are air cooling fins what i'm trying to say is that your if your cooling fan is not efficient enough this dc to dc converter and the inverter assembly that controls the electric motor might overheat and it's going to fail early than what expect so the, yes the honda hybrid system also requires hybrid battery cooling system service or hybrid battery service so let's just clean the fan clean the battery and assemble back now we can say that the cooling fan is clean as it gets well simply all the process backwards now that we service the hybrid battery cooling fan in the high voltage system of the honda hey jose do you need to recondition the battery do you need to rebalance all this kind of crap Absolutely no, that's only for nickel metal hybrid. Lithium ion have a self balancing system that keeps absolutely all the cells within the perfect 100% balance and absolutely all the battery's capacity. Eventually, every couple of years, two, three years, or when you're doing this type of service, you take apart the battery just for cleaning purposes. That's it. No recondition, no rebalance, none of those things. So this is the process of servicing the high voltage system of the Honda Vessel Hybrid. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.